Saturday's 36-hole final match for all the marbles in the Golf Association of Philadelphia's 107th Amateur Championship pitted a veteran in the 1996 Amateur Champ and reigning New Jersey State Amateur Champ Bill McGinnis against the youthful exuberance and fire of 19-year-old Elon University sophomore Phil P.J. Bartholomew from Yardley Country Club. With Applebrook Golf Club as his canvas, Bartholomew paints the scoreboard red with birdies on three of the first five holes. But he was only able to amass a one-up lead on McGinnis, who made six straight pars before carding a birdie on eight and a difficult par save on nine to go one-up on Bartholomew. The two traded shots and were back to all squares. Bartholomew sent this fantastic but risky chip on 13 into the jar for par. On the very next hole, Bartholomew's approach shot checked back off the green. Nonetheless, the young gun was able to get up onto a small ridge and make par to McGinnis' bogey, giving back the lead to Bartholomew. Bartholomew had sent his lead to 2 up with this birdie on 17. The kid from Yardley will go to 3 up on 18 after an uncharacteristic errant second shot left McGinnis an impossible attempt from just right of the waterfall in the tall stuff that nearly took out yours truly. McGinnis conceded the hole and headed for the break with a fresh 18 to go on the horizon. However, things didn't change much for the Tavistock member as Bartholomew took a 5-up lead on the third hole after driving the green and carting a birdie. But McGinnis was not out of it yet, matching Bartholomew on the ensuing four holes before getting one back on 8 with a birdie and then again on 9 and 10 with Bartholomew's rare struggles on and around the green. At its 11, the 29th hole of the day, things were right as rain for McGinnis as he stuck his tee shot to about 5 feet while Bartholomew appeared to continue his tailspin and miss long. Now up against a car and a nasty 12 foot putt, Bartholomew stops the bleeding for now and drains it as McGinnis misses his birdie opportunity. Bartholomew took the next hole to go to 4 up before losing the 31st and 32nd hole along with his stronghold on the match. McGinnis then sank this clutch knee buckler to bring himself within one with just two holes to play. On 17 with a sizable gallery looking on, it looked as if the match would go one more hole as McGinnis just misses his birdie putt from off the green and Bartholomew two putted for par. But McGinnis would have to live with just one amateur championship for the year as his par putt lips out to give Bartholomew the 2-1 win. Well, it was, you know, it was great fun. I uh, love this course. Uh, Apple Brook is an awesome course to play. PJ was just terrific. He, he putted better than I did. He had a lot of birdies, I think nine or ten birdies, which was several more than I did. And that was really the difference in the day. He came back from a pretty good deficit. Right, well, I was going to try all day. I was going to try until somebody told me it was over. And that's what I did. Felt good going into the match. Definitely felt good. And then the first hole, I almost hit out of bounds. I was like, there goes that good feeling. <laughs> I hit a lot of good putts. Um, that was big. Me and Dan, my, my caddy, um, had a lot of great lines. Just, just straight back, straight through, and it went in. You bought that chip in on 13. That's going to that's gonna go in the that's gonna go in the book for me. Uh, one of my better shots, definitely. It was a real quick shot. Real, it was going to release pretty, uh, pretty quickly, and uh, just took my 60, let it spin a little bit when it checked, and just let it release down the hole. Hit the cup. Just giddy up. Let's go. Thoughts on playing Bill? Yeah, I, I was calling him a giant killer because he had beat everyone that I thought was a great player this week. Uh, he was just real consistent. I, said, I told myself if I hit greens, hit some fairways, I'd be all right. And before heading off to Oakmont, PA, to watch the U.S. Open. Yardley Country Club's first amateur champ wrapped up the holiday weekend with this. Happy Father's Day, Dan. <laughs> For Gap TV, Gian Rodriguez.